Guys, Mark Goldberg here from Mark Vlogs Watches with a quick word for your friend and mine, Archie Luxury, Paul Pluta, AC3, Archibald Chesterfield III. You know, he invented the quick whist watch check, and uh, the rest of us on YouTube, well, we just stole it. Help keep Archie full-time on YouTube by liking this video, watching this video, tell your fuckhead friends, and make sure to subscribe to his Patreon. And now, Archie Luxury. Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury, and if you are a YouTube person who likes to watch YouTube, you would love Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Quick whist, whist, whist watch check. I'm wearing a Jager Lecoultre Reverso Grande date. Guys, I am a huge fan as a YouTuber myself, though I keep an eye on the competition, and one of my favorite YouTube channels is Watchfinder. Watchfinder, yes, yes, yes. And I, I gotta admit, Watchfinder has had some absolutely brilliant videos. They looked at the the Patek Philippe, um, they looked at the what the 5170, they looked at they compared it to an Amiga Speedy, they 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 really um they, they, they were just a very highbrow uh it's done in a <coughs> very the uh Whoever that uh, person who does the the reading for it, the the guy, he seems very impassioned, and and uh, you don't see the faces of the the people, but uh, that guy's got a really posh modern English accent, posh modern. Um, yeah, he's he's pretty cool, very cool. He's he's an influencer. That's he's an influencer, and they they just had a a video up. Uh, the other day, which I thought was hilarious, hilarious, because uh, the name, the name of the video was, the name of the video was, forget Patek Philippe, get one of these instead. Forget Patek Philippe, and uh, it was especially appealing to me because I've got five Patek Philippes. I'm the custodian to five, and it, it's the the, the 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 interesting thing is is that they um, <clears throat> they started um, first thing they recommended was a 1966 Gerard Perrigay. Fuck that brand is soft. Fuck. Um, I I admit the the Gerard Perrigay is a nice looking watch the model they pulled out was nice but fuck me dead how could you tell anyone to buy a Gerard Perrigay instead of a Patek Philippe uh, that's just irresponsible it's just fucking irresponsible <clears throat> and then they moved on to recommend <laughs> Chopard Chopard fuck me dead fuck me dead Chopard you Buy a sh okay, I know it was the LU Chopard, they're top of the range, but fuck, fuck, fuck. I uh, I recently went to the Singapore Patek Philippe exhibition, and uh, <clears throat> there was a great guy, a Polish guy who lives in America. He uh, he had a 5110P, world time in platinum, and he, he happened to own a Chopard as well, and it's not in the same league as Patek Philippe. I mean, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, and and so <clears throat> it goes to show you. You go. You think to yourself, why is Watchfinder trying to push their influences? They're trying to push you away from Patek Philippe. And the answer is simple: they're owned by fucking Richmond. They are owned by fucking Richmond. And Richemont, they want to steer you away from those golden eggs like Patek and Rolex into, into preferably Richemont brands. And, you know, they, they do it very subtly, very subtly. I think uh, Gerard Perrigay is not owned by Richemont. That they, they just push it that way just so they don't come out as fucking complete shill Nazis. They kind of, um, fuck this beard's itchy, fuck me dead, it's annoying, I want to shave the fucking thing off. 
Uh, there they so so I gotta tell you, um I I don't think you could be responsible and tell someone to buy a fucking Chopard or a Gerard Perigay instead of buying a paddock. I mean that's just irresponsible. It's irre fucking responsible. And I mean, let's be honest there. If, if this this is this is mainly to the the dress watch crowd. This is this is um, all the watches they showed were dress watches. And I mean, to be completely frank and honest with you, the uh, the one watch that all these watches would be competing against, I can tell you now, it's a current in production Patek. It's the 5196. That's the one they would be recommending against. Because that is, if you say to your somebody, <clears throat> I mean, Patek, classic dress watch. Well, it doesn't get more classic than the 5196. Manual wine features the 215 movement, 37 mils, uh, sub-second at 6. It's available in white gold, yellow gold, rose gold, and platinum. It's very much, it harks back to the original Reference 96, uh, which was the the original Calatrava released in 1934. And I've got to tell you, this is what the watch they don't want to they don't want you to see. This is this is what most people, when they buy a paddock dress watch, this is what they buy, a 5196. It's a beautifully crafted, gorgeous piece. And I've got to be totally honest with you, you'd have to have fucking rocks in your head. You would have to have fucking rocks in your fucking noggin to buy some of this garbage. Uh, it's It's irresponsible. It's it's just morally wrong. It's morally morally reprehensible. That's what it is. It's morally reprehensible. Uh, so um, I I honestly I honestly would um, I would seriously um, I would seriously just be very very careful about what watchfinder has to say they used to be a great source of information now they're trying to pretend to be unbiased independent influences where they're trying to steer you away from sensible fucking decisions i mean that is as morally wrong as the fat cunt the fat cunt recommending moser that is fucking morally wrong it's morally wrong it's financial suicide to buy a Moser. A Moser is absolute fucking dog fucking shit on the resale value. Uh, you would have to have rocks in your fucking fat head to buy a Moser over a Patek Philippe. That is just fucking morally wrong. It's morally, it's reprehensible. That's what it is. And I've, I've got to be completely honest with you. Watchfinder, they've they've bought uh, this 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 Richmond has bought Watchfinder. They're poisoning the craft. They're putting they're putting the poison, the GHB, into the creek water, and they want you to drink the Kool Aid. It's pretty nasty shit. This is what this is why Richmond bought Watchfinder is to influence fuckwits in the YouTube space. Uh, <clears throat> I got to be honest with you. Um, if if you want a classic honest dress watch and you want to retain value, there's only one brand, Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. And what Watchfinder has, has done there, I I think is 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 fucking morally wrong. Morally, morally wrong. It's so fucking bad. It's almost as bad as the fat cunt telling you to buy a fucking Moser. I mean Moser is dog shit. Dog shit. A good friend of mine. He bought the Moser because he was an hourglass ass licker. He licked hourglass's asshole, and they they gave it. They 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 pushed him into Moser. He gave it to Cove. Cove couldn't fucking give the thing away. Okay, he took a massive loss. Moser, you buy that fucking shit, you were going to not be able to get out without heavy fucking losses. 
You got to have more than half your money. That's how bad it is. It's it's irresponsible to recommend those sort of brands. There are people out there who are not rich fat cats. Uh, they, they need to make sure if they buy something, they can get out. They can get out. And uh, I've, I've had the same problem. I sold my annual calendar, the 5035. The wife had a car accident and I, I needed, I wanted to buy her a gift. I wanted to buy her a piano for the children and for her. So I, 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 got, I made a healthy, healthy profit on the 5035 sold it and I was very fortunate the stars aligned I was able to buy it back um, it's 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 that was very fortunate my 5107 I, I I did very well on that I did very well that that money 5107 turned into the yellow gold sub the yellow gold sub turned into the yellow gold world time then the yellow gold world time sorry the white gold world time and that turned into the yellow gold world time. So I, 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 you've got to be able to get in and out of these things. And with those brands, Gerard Perrigay, fuck me dead. Chopard, fuck. <laughs> Moser, fuck. Don't even get me started on Moser. Irresponsible. It's bad, rotten advice. It's rotten to the core. That's what it is. It's just uh, so wrong. I mean, look, you may not like... You may not like Paddock, fair enough, fair enough, but you can't deny you want to retain value. Rolex or Paddock Philippe? That's it. Rolex and Paddock Philippe. Tom Bolt, Tom Bolt. Time Machines. I'll put a link up. Go and watch that video there. Paddock and Rolex. That's honestly the brand, two brands, if you want to not lose value. Tom Bolt, Tom Bolt. Don't take my word for it. Take, take, take Tom Bolt's for it. So um, I got to tell you, fucking disappointed in, in WatchFinder. I really love them. I love their, I still love their videos, but when it's so blatantly obvious that they try to poison the fold, uh, it, it makes you sick. It, uh, they also did a, a video on um, fake Rolex Daytona. Yeah, yeah. I, I, they just really pushed the envelope. Why don't they talk about fake fucking date? Why don't you talk about fake Fucking Panerize. That's what I reckon would be a better fucking article. The fake Panerize. Because they, they Panerize only used an ETA movement to start with. Why don't you talk about that, Watchfinder? That's what I'd like to know because you're owned by Richemont. That's why this is the problem. When these big corporates take over these independent watch channels, they fucking corrupt it. They corrupt it. They corrupt it. And uh, they do it in a nice way. Influences, hey? Nasty little fucks. I'm Paul Pluto. I'm on the Archie Luxury and the Paul Pluto channel. Tell me what you fuckers think. Um, tell me what you think indeed. Be it itch. Tell me what you think. Like, subscribe, and tell your fuckhead friends. And don't forget, guys, man cannot survive on Google Ads. I depend on paid watch reviews. That's what keeps me making videos pay because I the Googles are fucked <coughs> the Google money is fucked see you later oh. hey Archie luxury fans if you're into luxury then you got to be into 66 Buick Rivieras check out my son and I Alex as we restore this beautiful 66 Buick Neighbors are having a picnic, you know, having fun and stuff. Me, I'm doing cars. It's what I've done my whole life. David SW. David SW. David SW. Who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest gray market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right, guys. I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have, for a long time, been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches? And I've got to be honest with you. The greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer 
for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet is David SW. David SW. David SW. David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people to. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Ronnie at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex? For all the hot models? There's only one person I would recommend. David SW. David SW. David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW. David SW. David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good Good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW, David SW, David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre-owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one Good source, I would recommend David SW, David SW, David SW. I'm Paul Pluto, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David SW. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel.